Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Hearthstone Arena with MD. Um, yeah, we are continuing our warrior run um, with a deck that I think is actually not that great, but you know, it's been performing okay. It try it usually like toes that line um, towards the um, mid to late game of, you know, getting low and then plays big bombs and tries to win. I've been playing a lot of um, arena decks quite similar to this, you know, early control and then late game bombs rather than, you know, more like mid-range type of cards. Like, for example, in Druid with just, you know, flooding your deck with Druid of the Claws type things. You know, I mean, it's been working okay so far. I will fight with honor. Molten Giant, Cruel Taskmaster, Raging Wargan. As tempting as it is to keep these two cards. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna dump the whole lot because I don't have anything that I want to play in the first two turns at all. There we go, that's a better hand. Yep. Well met. Nice. I hope you like my invention. So my pretty little uh, gnome will kill his uh, silver hand recruit, and then I'll probably play Scarlet Crusader turn after that. Reporting for duty. If you're sure. For the crusade. And then next turn, um, if he just plays another recruit, I'm gonna Rathi Weaponsmith and uh, kill his one-on-one -on -one with my weapon and attack him to keep my divine shield on. So it's working out pretty well so far. If the worst happens, I can always fiery fiery war axe and execute, but for four mana, you know. My plan is still fine. Um, yes. Not the most efficient, but I still have pretty significant board control at the moment. And I do have like some bombs coming up later, so I'm okay with it. Also, this um, weapon is not nearly as juicy a target for him to uh, acidic swampoos. Oh boy. What's the best way for me to kill this? If I play Cruel Taskmaster, what will I also be playing in addition? Not much. I do want to save the Execute though. So... I will probably... Do it this way. Yep. Actually, I should have armored up afterwards. That was a misplay. Hmm. All right. Boulder Fist Ogres next, and then potentially Sea Giant turn after that. So it's not too bad. I gotta be aware to keep, you know, about three minions on the field. I wonder um, if Leroy Jenkins and Mind Control Tech would actually be a good combination. Whoa. Reporting for duty. Interesting. I'm tempted to let the Doomsayer just go off. I wonder. OK, 
because I mean, it would be a two for one for him, so maybe not. Mm. The question now is if I play in a rage, I'll be left with a four one, a three one, and a sea giant. He'll be left with a one one. Which, if he plays equality. So that's four, seven, yeah. All right, I'm going to do it this way. No problem. Join or die. Yeah, that's okay. You know, I'm going to lose one of my high value minions right here. He's got seven cards versus my seven cards, which will be soon to be six cards because he's going to take one of them down, obviously. <clears throat> it's okay. I mean, I've got an eight-eight on the field, which he needs to deal with. He could have equality consecrate. You could just have consecrate. That would be good enough, I guess. You know, when thinking about card advantage, you do kind of have to think about how many cards you start off with. Okay, it doesn't have equality consecrate. That's good. Um, so he starts off with an extra card, so actually I've managed to, you know, maintain advantage. It's annoying. Whoa. Join or die. Dum, 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 dum. Might as well deal him some damage. Probably wasn't the most efficient way to do things, but not ah, well. He doesn't seem to have a very good way of dealing with Sea Giant. If I attacked into his 4 5, you know, he could have been able to True Silver Champion it, so that was my main concern. That's pretty bad. There we go, True Silver. No kidding. Oh, he's gonna go for it. Interesting. Why kill a 1-8? Sunwalk is um quite often a uh, times a very good value. Follow the rule. Wow. Oh, I think he has another tree silver. Reporting for is my suspicion. I am not a morning person. Man, Aldor Peacekeepers are eating my shit right up. Should I execute the Imp Master? I don't think so. Oh, 
I think this is fine. How many more, like, Outdoor Peacekeeper slash Humilities can he possibly have in his deck? And if he leaves my minions alive, you know, hopefully I can I can draw Defender of Argus or something like that. Yeah, man. Got so many True Silvers. There we go. My shield for Argus. Dum 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 dum. Eat it. Alright. So Raging Worgen can do, if I draw a Cruel Taskmaster, can do 12 damage on its own. Doesn't have a great way of removing... Well, he's got 4 cards in hand still. But yeah, I mean, big playing big minions obviously is a... <laughs> I don't have to just... I don't have to make it so obvious, right? It's a pretty good way of dealing with... um. It's a good way of dealing with uh, True Silver Champion Advantage. That's a way to like go to 12 wins with Paladin in my opinion. Just draft lots and lots of True Silver Champions. Yep, there we go. He knows that I don't have Acidic Swampu so he's happy just to play it. Just flap it in the breeze. Ah. Oh. Okay. So he can't kill it this turn. Seven, ten, twelve. Interesting. The victory is yours. He wasn't dead though, but fair enough. Keeping one card in hand actually, you know, plays mind games. I suppose that's good. Um, I'm happy to take the victory. So it would have been. Oh wait! Oh no, I did have the I did have the win. I think. No. It would have been four six plus thirteen fourteen fifteen. Oh yeah, I did have the win, but only with what I had in my hand. If he didn't cut, summon a silver hand recruit, I would still have had the win. Yeah. Um. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Amazing, like I actually managed to beat a deck that had three three true silver champions in it. I am quite pleased. Even though, you know, like two of my big beaters got freaking Aldor Peacekeepered. But Ball of Fist Ogre is just such a such a high value card. Probably don't want Sea Giant in my starting hand, probably don't want Commanding Shot in my opening hand either. Although I have heard that Fiery War Axe um, is quite good. I don't know. Haven't played with it much myself. That's literally true compared to other classes. But also I'm, I'm being a bit of a dick. Oh, annoying card. Is it worth raptoring? Yeah, it is. I have to say, the Argent Squire usually gets good value, you know, it usually trades up, so... You know, if he plays something to buff that, which for 2 mana would have to be, um... That... Uh... Not Cruel Taskmaster, it's the other one. You know, the 1 mana for 2-1 that gives friendly minion plus... What the hell is it called? I've been playing this game for a long time, man. <laughs> well, I've been playing this game for a few months. Um, Alright, I'm just going to move on, because otherwise I'm going to drive myself crazy. 
Hero power, hero power, hero power. So if he just hero powers and runs his 1 1 into my 3 2, I will fire a war axe and kill it to keep my 3 1 on the field, which I think is the correct play. Might seem like a waste of a charge, but now he has to deal with this. If he plays ooze, then I can just run my 3 1 into it. If he. Yeah. So it's fine. I've got 5 cards in hand versus my 5.5 cards. I did go second, so I haven't gained card advantage yet. If he just hero powers now, then I'll be in a great spot. Novice Engineer is really, really good. Because uh, with execute, you just just you know poke him and then oh, Scarlet Crusader is sadly though better. And little does he know that if he gets me down to low enough life, that's just making it easier for me to play Molten Giant. Ah, ah it's next level plays. Well, it's just the luck of the draft. This also insulates myself from a um, multi shot, so that's fine. Although Corcoran elites are really bad against multi shots, so I, in all likelihood, will wind up using it to kill whatever minion he plays now. I don't think he has Animal Companion. Wow. Nice top deck. I'm going to use Novice Engineer to try and. Um, Yeah, to try and avoid multi-shot because I think that's what he has in hand. Slap. Spends, if he spends the next turn playing multi-shot and leaves a 3-1 alive, what would I do? Hopefully I draw something into something better that I want to play because I don't really want to play Corcoran Elite and eat another multi-shot next turn. Oh, actually, that will be... Um, that would be explosive trap. So yeah, got a two for one out of explosive trap, which sucks. Sure. God, I hate demolish her so much. I used to like I used to really like it, but you know now it's not only RNG, but the stat distribution is awful. It's just really bad. Although Frost Ellie with uh, Demolisher is actually a pretty decent combination. So let's see what he gets. If your animal companions into the 4 2 charge, that would be really bad. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah. You can't silence it to make it attack, so. Next turn, I've got 9, 10. 10 damage. It's pretty good. I've also got Defender Slam and Execute, which is really good. Even if he plays Houndmaster, gives a taunt, that wouldn't be enough. Because it'll be dying regardless of how much health it's on. Yeah. I don't even need to slam it um, if, like, execute it, or if the demolisher winds up hitting it. It's an ideal situation. The blast goes to him. Um, goes to thirteen. Shit.
Hmm. It's a uh, snipe. It is still the right play to play defender, I think. Make him go to eight. Next turn, he's dead. My seal for our With the two core corner elites, I can deal him eight damage. So this, yeah, sets him up for lethal next turn, unless he plays a taunt. Which is not out of the question for eight mana. Hmm. <laughs> Another fucking secret, seriously. Oh well, I'm gonna test see if it's explosive trap. If it is, then I win. If it's another snipe, then... Oh, well... Yeah, actually, what I might do, I might play Dark Iron Dwarf, because if it's snipe... The gates are... Oh, well, never mind then, I can't do that anymore. Ah, oh, well, I have to play this. Whoa. Okay. So, is there any point in me... Well... This makes him scared, right? Because he'll be on one if I attack him with my Arcanite Reaper. He doesn't know that I have charged minions in my hand. He needs to kill the Demolisher. That's fine. Slightly less fine. <laughs> I may be in trouble now. So with 10 mana, with 5 power on the board, I go to 8, I go to 6. Is it worth putting him to 1? I think this is a safer play. Because he still needs to deal with my Dark Iron Dwarf. I can still put him to 1 next turn. Deadly shot. Yep. Holy shit. Should have done this first. If he kills, oh my god, I might have misplayed there because if he can kill my 4 5, 5 4, he can actually still win. Maybe I shouldn't have slammed, but I wanted to try and get the victory with like Cruel Taskmaster or something. Well played. Hmm. Oh, even if he has multi shot. Well 
Oh fuck. <laughs> Oh, when he said well played, I was like, oh my god, I've lost. Oh, that was really... Yeah, I left myself a bit vulnerable, but... Yep. Okay. We'll do one more for this episode, and then we'll call it, uh... Call it... I'm, I'm you know, quite pleased with the performance of this deck so far. It's the deck synergies, actually. Work quite well, and obviously the early control with things like Cleave and Slam and, and the Fiery War Axe is, uh, is very good. So, I'm, I'm pleased so far. I can't remember how many fiery war axes I actually have in the deck. It's probably something I should have checked. I think it's two. Yeah, I'm not too sure. Green Gimp, the Paladin. I will fight with honor. Victory or death. I don't want to be playing novice engineer turn two. Go for something a little bit better. Yep. Oh boy. It's going to be a slow start for me. Greetings. A very slow start. Do you need a blessing? Oh boy. I'll probably be playing Scarlet Crusader now. We must cleanse the sun well. Okay. It's bad news, bears, but I could I could lose just straight from here. Wow. He lost nothing. That is crazy. Holy shit. Well. Things are looking pretty grim already. Another thing that gives Divine Shield? Whoa! Oh my goodness, and I can't even kill it e either. Holy shit. Oh, well, thank fuck for that, but it's come. Ah, it's come at an okay time. I get a strong sense I'll probably be tanking uh, 7 damage from the Shattered Sun Cleric next turn. All right, stabilized a bit. Okay. Okay. Reporting for duty. Okay. <laughs> I'm pretty low, but that's how warriors uh, play, right? If I draw Molten Giant, I can cast it for two mana, which is pretty good. I'm in a not... Oh, gross. Does he attack me or does he... Nah, that would be probably pretty silly. Reporting for duty. Okay. Man, that start, I don't have to tell you guys, right, was pretty goddamn scary. Reporting for duty. Wow. 
Uh, I am going to just do this. Keep my three cards in hand. And then my Demolisher will be the uh, recruit, chump, uh, recruit Muncher for the next few turns. There we go. Really? Oh, nice. Play Consecrate now! Well, shit, I think I win. 12, yep, lethal on board. Turned around pretty quick. Well, turned around pretty quick because uh, we've both been playing pretty fast. Yep. Need to give him taunt, man. Or gain life. Is that game? Or kill one of my minions. Oh. Nine damage overkill. Wow, we. All right. Um. Woo! Nerfed charge. Can't even disenchant it. Okay. Um. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me. Um. Play my. Uh, warrior deck, which is currently going five and zero, which is um quite surprising. I would not have predicted that it would go five and zero. It does have two fiery war axes. Yeah. Um. When I first started playing, I mean, it's got a lot of big bombs at towards the end, and a lot of early control. That's how my shaman. Um, deck look pretty much shaman deck looked pretty much and yeah that deck wind wound up you know taking me all the way so who knows all right uh thanks for watching i will see you guys oh by the way um if you guys are wondering why i have less gold than before uh it's because i made a warrior deck which required a shield slam and i didn't have one because so i didn't have two so i had to buy some packs with gold to get enough dust to make one but anyway uh, i will see you guys in the next episode